You can never make the bells dogs. You may wipe them out, but the children of the stars can never be dogs. Matabel spokesman, Samapulani Tladlo spoke these words warning the white supremacists in 1896. We repeat them today, this time warning Nangagwa, the black Shona supremacist and genocidist. He believes that Matabels are dogs to be killed, buried in shallow graves, thrown into mine shafts and caves to be exhumed, and reburied by the perpetrator after 37 years. If the president of Zimbabwe, Emerson Nangagwa, is still seeing cockroaches and dogs, when he looks at people of Matabeland, at this time and hour then he is making a terrible mistake that he and all other genocidists and supporters will regret for generations and generations. People of Matabeland are not dogs or cockroaches that do not have rights and cannot speak for themselves as Matabeland genocide perpetrators, their supporters and children believe. All survivors of Matabel and genocide of 1980-87 have the right to know why more than 40,000 of their relatives that included children, women and old people were dastardly killed and buried in the shallow graves, others thrown in the caves and mine shafts. They have the right to decide which route to take to find justice and closure regarding Matabel and genocide. We received quite disturbing information from various chiefs who were vehemently opposed to the bribes that were offered by Emerson Nangagwa government to Matabel chiefs to cooperate and proclaimed it all and sundry that Matabel genocide has been successfully resolved by the Zimbabwe government. At a meeting held at State House in Bulawayo in October last year, each chief received US $500 to push Nangagwa's evil Matabel and genocide agenda. US $500 is a price of donkey in Matabeland. In the last meeting held last month with Matabeland chiefs, President Emerson Nangagwa promised and offered Matabel chiefs who would cooperate with the government to claim that Matabel genocide committed by Zimbabwe National Army 5th Brigade has been resolved, were to be given US $100,000 and 50 herd of cattle each. The Matabel chiefs who released this information are not happy with some of their colleagues who are keen to accept the bribes which was never made public with the other resolutions which are as follows, and each chief will spearhead the resolution of Gukur a Hundi word used to cover up Matabel and genocide in his or her area of jurisdiction. B. The process should be victim-centered and will also involve key stakeholders' engagement and that the Gukura Hundi issue must not be tribalized in order to foster national building and national healing. See issuance of documentation of birth certificate, national IDs and death certificates. D. Look into issues of underdevelopment and marginalization. E. Promote national healing, national reconciliation and national building. F. Provide counseling and psychological support. G. Consultation of victims. H. Exhumations, reburials and memorials. I. Reparation and compensation. J. Pensions, free education, social welfare and health services. K. Exhumations and reburials should be resolved on a case-by-case -case basis custom-centric and relevant chief should give guidance and directions. L. Social security benefits to be resolved on case-by-case -case basis. M. The issue is traditional and should be dealt with by traditional leaders. President Nangagwa emphasized that the process will be led by chiefs and their affected communities. He also made it clear that a one-size-fits-all approach would be inappropriate for this program. And that as a way forward, chiefs are to go back to their respective areas to consult on the issues raised. Whichever chief is ready, Nangagwa will quickly deploy resources to his or her area. We have no choice but to view him who washes the blood-stained knife of a murderer in the same light with a murderer. We reject the perpetrator's resolution for Matabel and genocide with contempt it deserves. It is a waste of time, energy, and donor funds. We will fight it with every weapon we lay our hands on. If Nangagwa can replace the people's chiefs with his own, the Republic of Matabeland would not fail to replace Nangagwa's chiefs that sell out on their people with people's chiefs that will stand for the true cultural interests of the people of Matabeland. Let it be known to the Shona supremacist of Zimbabwe, the chiefs that have accepted blood money from the government of Zimbabwe and the world at large, that MLO would not accept the resolution of terrified perpetrators that fear the split of Zimbabwe and Matabel and genocide justice. It is a waste of time, energy, and donor funds. If we accept this evil nonsense it will mean that we accept that Matabel lives are cheap.
and that successive Shona governments must continue murdering Matabelles wantonly as long they will dig the bodies and rebury them after 37 years. Yes, it was President Nangagwa, the perpetrator of Matabel and genocide, telling Matabel and traditional leaders and the genocide victims who should lead the process how they should do it and what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. This confirms that these resolutions are the perpetrators' resolutions made in Harare and imposed on the victims using Matabel and traditional chiefs. Chiefs have been chosen because they receive benefits and their monthly salaries from government, putting them in a vulnerable position to be manipulated by the Shona supremacist government to facilitate their evil Matabel and genocide agenda. Some of the chiefs who received bribes from the Zimbabwe government are now compromised that they do not have a say on any resolution. Theirs is to accept perpetrator resolutions from the government of Zimbabwe and implement them without a word. We hold firmly on our demands to the government of Zimbabwe e the restoration of Matabelan state as of 3 November 1893 and US dollar 100 billion as compensation of Matabelan genocide of 1980-87. In the same way the Taliban returned to Afghanistan, so it shall be when MLO comes back to Matabelan. Isenzo Kunjimazwi, Israel Dube. MLO Secretary for Information and Public Affairs.